Yeah, there's no sugarcoating a, a performance like that. It was um, far less than we would expect from our club. And uh, today I've been pleased that there's been a collective ownership of that and uh, a collective response as to how we change it from here. No, nothing changes for me. When I uh, was assessing this job, I was looking at the fact that we had a, uh, a list with some promise and a business with some promise. And uh, I know it hasn't been a glorious start over the last two rounds, but uh, none, of, none of that changes for me. So what are your priorities at the moment from, from your perspective? Well, uh, certainly listening in to Rocket and the leadership group today to the way they spoke to the players, um, we'd want to see some response from that. Um, regardless of what position you find yourself in in, in sport, all you can do is uh, saddle up for the next uh, bout and uh, and try and improve and uh, I'm hopeful that we see that this week. So how, is that where a turnaround starts, Mark? Are you looking simply on field or, or how can the club turn things around through, you know, in, in your eyes? No, well, the, the, the first part, I think that... Uh, I was pleased about today was this ownership about a lack of intensity in the way they wanted to play the game and that came from the coaches and the leadership group so from that perspective I think they are pulling the right rein and my point to, to Rocket was uh, let me know if we can help because uh, if this is a, a collective response to something and if there's something that we need to do to support the football program we will do it. I missed the, the second part of your question, sorry. Oh, sorry, mate. Just um, what have your conversations with Rocket um, been like since, since Saturday night? No, well, I, the, no one's running away from what was a poor performance. And uh, what you look for is the response to that. So in me probing or asking, um, I'm pleased that they haven't tried to duck that. They're not trying to blame any individual or look for a scapegoat or find excuses. They have to uh, say this was a collective problem and that needs a collective solution. So my, my questioning uh, or discussions with Rocket have only been about um, are you asking the right questions of your coaches and your players? And I, I think he did today. And then the second part was uh, if you think there's a way that we can help, then let us know. Let me say this uh, straight and clear, it's round two and we've got 20 rounds left in the home and away season and plenty left to achieve and uh, I won't get drawn into any of that. All I would say is if this is a, a unified problem then it needs a unified solution. I won't back away from that. So what are you, what are you looking for Mark from, I guess Rock, I mean Rocket's the, the, um, the head as far as the, the footy goes, like what are you looking for from him in the next, you know, for the remainder of There's no doubt from a performance perspective, um, we need to show our fans and the AFL public that there's a different level of intensity in the way that we play um, compared to what we did on Saturday night. And he has uh, demanded that of his players today and that has also been levelled at the playing group by the leadership group as well. So that's clearly a start. And then I think we have to uh, make sure that we can build upon that, but it starts with that uh, level of intensity and effort. Well, I, I feel like I've been here 10 minutes, so I don't want to presuppose any of that and run to a, you know, an immediate diagnosis and have that wrong. But what I look to people uh, when things get tough is how they respond, what attitude they bring, 
and what direction they set for people uh, to follow. And uh, you know, that's, that's certainly where we find ourselves at round two. No, and it, it would be really unfair of me to, to get to that position so quickly in, in any case. Um, uh, the first couple of weeks for me was to try and understand the people of the business and, and a bit of the, uh, our key stakeholders. And then obviously the season has started straight away, so I've had uh, very little to do with the football program uh, to this point. It's, it's one of the important things that we have to get right in this business and uh, I'll play whatever role I have to play.